Valentine's Day, before you go out and you order a dozen roses, you might want to consider a long-lasting alternative. Here to show us how to make a beautiful, succulent heart is our friend, the founder of Farm Girl Flowers, Christina Stembol, is joining us again. Great to see you, Christina. Thanks for being here, love. Thanks for having me. I am a big fan of succulents. In fact, it's one of the, don't tell Shirley this, but it's one of the few things that I keep alive uh, very, very well. And this is a great alternative, isn't it? It is. It's so much better than the red roses and baby's breath that you've seen a million times over. Um, that's, I mean, we have hundreds of years of marketing that have yes. told us that women want red roses and baby's breath, and right. they actually don't. Wow. Nine, over 90% of our customers. Is that customers, right? Yeah, 92% actually of our customers that we pulled do not want red roses. Is my is my wife in that uh, pool Probably. by any chance? Okay, Probably. good to know. So we're going to make her something know. really beautiful today. Excellent. Instead. I'm so happy about this. Amazing. I know there's lots of important little details yes. uh, in order to make this a success. Yes. You and you it ready? sort of starts with the type of soil and the pots that we're using too, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So first things first, the soil is probably one of the most important things. Great. You want to look for a soil that's specific for cacti and succulents. Okay. If you can't find that, then just get regular potting soil, but mix a lot of pumice in with it right here. Okay, so you just go ahead and mix that in with yes. regular potting soil. And what does that do? How, how does that help? It aerates it. It lets the water drain quicker. All right, so, um, the, so also, the soil doesn't stay like yes. wet and then uh, overwater the succulents. Absolutely. Okay, so good. moldy roots are what kill succulents gotcha. the quickest, so you don't want that to happen. Okay. The good, second good, good. Thing, yep. you want to look for a pot that has drainage on the bottom of it. Of it. Oh. This was one we made specifically for Valentine's Day. Yep. It's great. It's a heart. Um, and so if you don't have this at home, it's no big deal. We love a can of spray paint at Farm Girl. Yeah, so, there you go. Yeah, just get some gold spray paint, take an old pot that you don't like and spray paint it, and you'll have something very similar to this. Excellent. And did you also mention the fact if you don't have holes in the bottom, there's a solution? Yes. Okay, so the, the other kind of hack for that yeah. is you can take river rock or any rocks from your backyard even. Yeah. Um, you want to look for like two to three inch rocks, like pretty big ones. Gotcha. And line the bottom of it first with that and then put the dirt on top. Okay. And that will allow the water to settle in the bottom without it like rotting the Right, roots. so that the soil yeah. can dry out a little bit. Absolutely. Okay, so we've got all that. You put some of the soil yes. here in one of our so, pots. Yeah. And now you're going to show us how to actually do the planting, right? And, yes. and how to kind of orchestrate. Yes, absolutely. So the, the first geography step, of it all. Go the ahead. first step is to fill it halfway. So we could do it here, but you can just see it right here. Yeah, it's halfway okay. full of soil. Excellent. I'm going to put a couple indentations in. It's kind of like your mashed potatoes. Can you guys see the indentations? So just like yes. you... Uh, well, you can, it's hard to kind see, but you there. got a couple in there. Okay, good. Basically, like, pretend you're putting yeah. gravy on your mashed potatoes and just make little tiny indentations there. We like food references. Yeah. Well. Yeah, let me do yeah. this so maybe people can see it a little bit easier. Okay, there we go. Great. So then I'm going to show you how to pot. You're going to look first when you're, you're looking for succulents. You can find them at any nursery or garden center near you. Uh -huh. You're going to look for four-inch ones and two-inch succulents. Okay, great. A mix of them. You probably want three to four of the four inch okay. in a pot this size, and you probably want like five or six small. And what's the two reason inch. for that? Why, why do you want kind of both? Yeah, you want lots of variations in texture and height. So Echeveria, this, that's this one right here. This is the most common. It looks like a rosette. It's so beautiful. So great, right? And even it gets these Look little beautiful flowers at the top of it. Oh my goodness, So yeah. this is the one that most people will go to, but what I've seen them do is they'll gravitate and just buy all of them the same one. Right. And then you're gonna have this like very flat looking arrangement. You don't want that. Well, that's why you're here. You're you're exactly. here to help us out and show this us what is, we should be doing. This Good. is going to make it look more designer if you have lots of different heights on Excellent. it. Excellent. So to pot them, you want to keep as much soil with the actual, um, in the container, you know, that comes in. Yep. Because they're happier in the container as they come. Great. So the easy way to do this is you just loosen it by, like, gently pushing in on the sides. Okay. And then you're going to take out the roots right here. We're going to make a mess. Were those roots okay. that were still in there? No. Yes. Yeah, you, have, you want all the roots. Oh, gotcha. I'm roots. sorry. Yeah, okay. Yep, and then you're going to put it right in this indentation right here, like that, and then you're just going to really firmly put all the soil, push it next to it, just to like keep this. keep it in place like to that keep it in place. Bit. And then you continue that with other, yes. the four inch, but now yes. I also, as we shift down here, yes. we're going to go along the line here. We, we've also got some two inch to go in as yes. well. So and you use those to kind of fill up some of the spaces? Definitely. Okay. So I put the three focal four inch ones here yeah. already. In nice. The, you know, TV magic here. And then we're going to take some of the two inch ones, Great. do the same thing, just loosen it like this. Is it just me? Is it, I mean, they, they have such interesting kind of shapes. They do. And, I don't know, architecture about them. I think they're so beautiful. And the color is really important. So see this guy, I'm just gonna put right here. Right. The, this is the secret here with the two inch. Put them very close to the four inch. Okay. So you're gonna think it's too close. Why is that? So for lots of reasons. Number one, it just okay. looks way better. Okay. Well, <laughs> Number two, that's important some, when you're yeah, given a gift. Exactly. Some of them are actually not gonna make it as they grow. Oh, okay. So you can pull them out then and it'll still be very full and look really great. So okay. you wanna get it very, very tight. So we call it just shoving stuff in. 
here. You're gonna do a really tight. Hug it to the other one. In here. your opinion, is it okay mm -hmm. to have like some spaces in there, or you really no. want to like cover the whole? No. That was a quick answer. <laughs> no. That was. I think we all know. Yeah. Yeah. So you really want to kind of have it really jammed in. Jammed in. Full. Very Lots cool. of little uh, different designs yes. and things like that, which is like this one. Brings us to this. I yes. gotta say, can we get a shot of this guy right here? This guy right here is my favorite. So wow. beautiful, right? Beautiful. So this one just shows like at the very end, you're just gonna keep putting more in, even when you okay. think it's like already close enough. You know, it's not. It's just not. Keep going. You want them to hang over the edges like this, like even right here. You think you can get little, another one in there? I can definitely get another one in there. Okay. You can take one and you can split it. Oh, there just you look go. Look at that. I'm gonna wow. take these little guys. That's actually. And you're really just gonna easy. put it right now. In as there. you're finessing that guy right there, yes. tell us some um, some tips. I was gonna say some safety mm -hmm. tips. But they're not safety tips. They're actually just health kind tips for these guys. Tips, yeah, kind of. Tell right. us how, you know, yeah. keep them healthy. Absolutely. So here's a finished one over here. So you can see how full that is. Yeah. So the number one thing that people do wrong with succulents, mm. me included, so I'll raise my hand here, is overwatering. I was going to guess. Yep, good. Overwatering, right? Yep. Yeah. So you, your normal leafy green plants, you're used to putting it underneath the sink and just letting the water run, right? Yeah. You don't ever do that with succulents. So you're really going to just water when the soil is completely dry. So just, you know, take your finger yep. and check the soil. And if there's any dampness, do not water. And I like what you told me earlier, too. Mm -hmm. When in doubt, wait a week to yes. water. They're going to be fine. They're succulents, yes. everybody. Christina, you're amazing. Thank cool. you so much for this. Full instructions. You know where to go, everybody. HallmarkChannel.com. As well, check out Christina's website, FarmGirlFlowers.com.